Now to this one, Mr. X decides to travel from Delhi to Gurgaon at a uniform speed and decides to reach Gurgaon after T hours, for some time. After 30 kilometers, there is some engine malfunction and the speed of the car becomes four-fifths of the original speed. So he travels the rest of the distance at a constant speed, four-fifths of the original speed and reaches Gurgaon 45 minutes late. Had the same thing, had the same engine malfunction happened after he traveled 48 kilometers, he would have reached only 36 minutes late. So the engine runs smoothly till 48 kilometers, not till 30, so much longer. So he would reach quicker, he would have re taken only 36, 36, he would have been only 36 minutes late. What is the distance between Delhi and Gurgaon? Good question. Again, a puzzle over, over around speed time distance. I'm going to draw the diagram. Delhi to Gurgaon, let's assume the distance is d kilometers. After 30 kilometers, some malfunction happens. And then the remaining d minus 30, he travels at 4 fifths of the speed. He reaches 45 minutes late. Next time, after 48 kilometers, the same malfunction happens. The remaining d minus 48, he travels at 4 fifths of the speed and reaches 36 minutes late. Right. Now we can frame equations with d and maybe some speed x but time t and then try to solve them by comparing all three contexts. I want to bypass this. I want to forget about this context. You say between these two, the time difference is 9 minutes. Okay. This one, between these two, I'm going to break this into three legs, 30, 18 and remaining d minus 48. The first 30 in both cases, he travels in the original speed. It will take the same time. The last d minus 48 in both cases, he travels in the same reduced speed, it will take the same time. So the entire difference is going to come from this 18 kilometers. In this case, this 18 kilometers he travels at a reduced speed. In this case, he travels at the same speed. The assume initial speed, original speed equal to x kilometers per hour. The time taken for that in this case, this 18 kilometers would be 18 by x. In this case would be 18 by x into 4 by 5. This, this, this instance, the time taken is more, more to the tune of 9 minutes. Or the equation we have is 18 by x into 4 by 5 minus 18 by x equals 9 by 60. We're dealing in arts, we are comparing these two contexts right? and isolating the 18 kilometer stretch where you would have been traveling at different speeds or 5 by 4 into 18 by x minus of 18 by x equals 9 by 60. I'm going to just write this equation down here and then solve it. 1 fourth of 18 by x equals 9 by 60. Let's get knocked off. This is 15. This is 1. This is 2. x equals 30 kilometers per hour and x is 30 kilometers per hour so from this we need to somehow find d and that's going to be simple enough the original speed would have been 30 kilometers per hour the revised speed the new speed is four fifths of the original speed which will be 24 kilometers per hour and d minus 30 traveled at 24 kilometers per hour d minus 30 traveled at 30 kilometers per hour the difference is 45 minutes i'm going to call d minus 30 as some k so i'm going to write that equation here k by 30 then k by 24 the difference between these two is 3 by 4. Okay. Again, let's frame this equation k by 24 minus k by 30 is 3 by 4. LCM between these two is 120, 5k minus 4k, which is k by 120 is 3 by 4. This gets knocked off, becomes 30. Our k is 90 kilometers. The overall distance is 30 plus 90. Our total distance is 120 kilometers. And wonderful question. Uh, but the key thing to notice here is instead of worrying about the first iteration, if we compare the second and third, 30 kilometers and 48 kilometers, the whole change in timing is because the 18 kilometer stretch is traveled in two different speeds. 
isolate that, get the speed, to get the speed, you just bring it into some equations and solving that after that. Right? Lots of questions in speed time distance come woven around a puzzle, around different contexts. So by nature, this is going to be doable, but time consuming. And start from trying to get the context of the framework. And don't start from just writing distance by time equal to speed equations for lots of different scenarios because that becomes very time consuming. You have to think about the context differently to, to find the best way to crack the puzzle. And that is where an enormous amount of your focus should lie on.